Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to basically talk about the new Bronco. I'm sure there's so much hype out there. I've seen a lot of hype out there, but uh, I just wanted to kind of go over my take of it and see what you guys have to say. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what you see. This is just one of many things that I do on this channel, including installs and removals and all kinds of stuff for the 72 Ford Bronco that's sitting behind me. And welcome to the channel. So let's get started. Anyway, so um, got my coffee, got my water, and the sun is out today. And the first thing I want to bring up as far as for the new Bronco is, are you guys ready? Are you ready for the new Bronco? I am been a long time coming I think that it's a little heavy on the hype personally but uh, it doesn't hurt to have a little hype going on uh, there's also three different versions that I'm aware of of the new Bronco and I guess we'll find out if you guys are wondering July 13th is the official day I guess uh, there's been a lot of people thinking it might be a different day but I guess July 13th is the day and as of right now I've seen three different Broncos I've seen the two-door Bronco which is my personal favorite probably a lot of yours as well if you're a big fan of the new uh, the earlier Broncos and then there's the four-door and then there is a sport edition which is kind of like uh, a trailblazer or jeep uh cherokee kind of thing and so i'm i'm real interested in finding out uh how that two-door bronco is hoping that it'll do really great for off-roading and for trailing and stuff like that what do you guys think about this uh no v8 they want to do like a four cylinder and a uh, six cylinder versus uh, running a V8. Do you think they'll actually switch to the V8? It's a good question. I mean, as long as the vehicle has enough power to get up the mountain, right? I guess that's what matters a lot. And so I don't know how I feel about the V8 not being in there since it's always been part of the classic design to run the V8 and as far as for the style of it wow uh, the two-door version I think they did a big homage to the to the original classic Bronco the four-door and the sport it's not bad I'm looking forward to actually seeing the Bronco in person and go from there for style points but i really appreciate all the little nuances that they went into the two-door with the tail lights and the new headlights As a matter of fact the headlights are pretty interesting and you know i just hope that it's really you know off-road capable which their their commercials and videos on it, it seems like it's going to be capable and with that independent front suspension too versus a solid axle so we'll see about that you know i think that the potential really cool thing is like aftermarket stuff right so you know you think about how much hype that's why one of the things i do like about the hype is that if there's this much hype and build up over that new bronco that could drive a lot of companies to work towards, you know, aftermarket parts, which we might be able to use on these Broncos. You know, we can do some sort of integration or modification to add some of those newer parts even to their existing Broncos that we have. You know? And then as far as for, you know, the new Bronco versus old Bronco, I think they kind of have to stand apart, really, you know? I mean, I, I'm, if I had a choice between dropping 30, 40 grand in a new Bronco or 30, 40 grand into a, a classic, ah, oh, that's tough. 
you could do a lot with 40 grand on a classic you do the work yourself and it could be really built out kind of the way you want versus you know turnkey style i don't know i don't know i i mean i've i've had people bring that conversation up to me about jeeps like wouldn't you rather just drop you know 40 grand into a jeep versus 40 grand into your bronco and my my quick answer to that was oh hell no <laughs> so um but oh, new bronco if i had a choice between that if i just had 40 grand to you know, pull out of my pocket i don't know that's a tough one but i do love my bronco and i if anything i'd rather have one of each right I have one side by side if i had a choice and uh yeah and then so right, questions for you guys i want to keep this kind of short i just wanted to you know talk about the new bronco since it's coming out and you know will you buy it is that something that you'd want to buy do you rather just you know not waste your money on it curious on what you guys' thoughts are you know do you like the style of it uh not just the two-door but all three of them the fact that they're coming out with three different versions of the bronco Yeah. And what do you guys think between the, the old version and the new version, you know, just based on what you've seen so far, maybe you'll watch this video after the Bronco has come out and then you can comment and tell me what you think. As long as it's not a comment about my throne right here, this nice colored throne with a pillow. <laughs> hey, you know, you do what you got to do. It works. It's comfy and I'm enjoying the sun. So, yeah. But like I said, I was going to keep this short. I never actually did take any sips of my water. So, here you go. Cheers to everybody in the new Bronco. It's not good to cheers and just water. So, here's my coffee as well. Yeah. It's the new Bronco. Hope it turns out great. Hope there's a lot of aftermarket stuff. Love to see some new Broncos on the trail and events. And uh, feel free to like and subscribe, like I said, if you're new to the channel. And make sure to add some comments. I'd love to hear your feedback, what you think about the new Bronco coming out, and all the things that I kind of discussed. Remember, July 13th is the day for the 2021 Bronco. And there's also a new like community called Bronco Nation. It's been brought up a few times so in this community and go check it out. I can provide a link for the Bronco Nation and a link to the Bronco page, which you probably have already seen, but I'll have it in the comments in the description down below as well. And that's about it. Other than that, stay safe, have fun. Don't forget to check out the new Bronco and enjoy some sun if you have it in your area. All right, take care.